Ladies, uh, Ziggy, this is my friend Shimon from Jerusalem. We're both Jewish believers in Jesus. But uh, uh, Shimon, um, as, an, as an Israeli man who's, who's read Isaiah 53, uh, take us through some of the words that you particularly, you know that you struggled with yourself and you know maybe other Israeli speakers and Hebrew speakers can struggle with when we look at a text like Isaiah 53. Okay. Where would you, where would you take us? Okay, so yes, uh, the focus, well, using the last three verses of Isaiah 52 Two. and the full chapter of 53, yes, it is. So uh, the first word that I will focus is the word Shamemu in verse uh, 14 in Isaiah 52. So say, Kasher Shamemu Alecha Rabin Ken Mishchat Meish Mareu Vetao Mibne Adam. So uh, the word Shamemu. In the beginning, I thought it's maybe wondered or maybe something like uh, something people wonder, like leash to men. So what did you what did yeah. you think the sentence meant? Yes, I was. When uh, you, the people wondered. What was the sen- what would the whole sentence mean in the context? Yes. Given that you've misunderstood the meaning of the word. Y- yes. Okay. So I had to read the context, the whole whole of the sentence to understand. Mm-hmm. So here, if you read on the sentence, the verse, give you the um, uh, explanation for it, sort of, it may, the, why is it make, or what the actual word mean. Uh, when I was reading to, actually we were reading in English translation as well, to equivalent word, to Shamemu, there is no exact equivalent, but the closest you can have, it's either appalled, uh, you know. Um, horrified. Yes, yes, horrified. Yes, uh, so, uh, um, so. The, the the word sort of appalled it's like uh, if you can imagine uh, i told you that i had an accident and you came to visit me but before you actually uh, uh, once you saw the damage that occurred you know and you you sort of the deformity uh, so you, what's you the whole mean? sentence mean now yeah. you know it's fixed so can me, uh, so okay so this is mean uh, the sentence mean kasher shamemu alecha rabim ken mishchat meish mareu betaro mibne adam Mishchat is mean is corrupt. Look, Mishchat is a long milah Mishcha, which is a paste. Mishchat is it, it was c- completely corrupted from any form of um, any in uh, any other human being. He was so deformed in his look. Uh, to to to, uh, to give a full description of it, it's such a, a horrific sight that um, yes, uh, it, the emphasis was just on the on the the gravity on it. How terrible the. The site was. So, so this experience. particular work you focus on, the Shamimu, really emphasised with the, ex- the, yeah, the reaction. The, the, and of course, this you are speaking here of this particular servant, the yes. exalted servant. Yes. 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 Take us through some other words that okay. you, you found. So, the next words, it's. Um, uh, I was uh, looking into in the context, in, in verse 7 in chapter 53, um, when God says. Uh, it's uh, verse 6. So if Gia, uh, well here he says, and God uh, struck him with our sins of us all, you know, he put, so if Gia, I can understand the, the root of the word Paga, which means to hurt someone, but here if Gia, instead of like in the more common and modern Hebrew we use, or in English it's like you stroke or you hit or a cabo, which means stroke or hit someone, you hit someone with something or physically. But here, if Gia, it's like you mean he, he puts the hurt of us in him. So that again, um, can a wee bit to a modern Hebrew speaker, that can be confusing. Because the word's not common? No, it's not common. So what does the whole sentence mean in verse 6? Well, the common, if we read the context of the old sentence, it says it's basically what God, we are all like a, a sheep went astray. As each one went to his own way, that's the Lord. And God struck him with our sins all. Actually, yeah. struck him. Struck him. Yeah. Um, there was a particular another sentence here, wasn't yes. there? Verse uh, 11. 11. Yes, verse 11. So, verse 11 speaks about. Um, so, verse 11 speaks about. So, verse 11 speaks about. So when you read that word, yet uh, the two words yet tzadik tzadik avdi, uh, it's like the first thing, um, thing that comes to your head is like all oh God sort of already sort of made someone which was already righteous more righteous, 
you know, so you can really be withdrawn without them getting confused. So. Um, but then yeah. how did how did you come yeah. to understand what it? How, it how I came to understand? Well, I have to read the context again and again and again. In particular, this verse because it's quite difficult to understand. It's dik tzadik avdi. When she means avdi, it means my servant, la rabim. So then it related to the servant. So sort of Yatzdik Tzadik Avdi. So Tzadik Avdi. So when you separate the Yatzdik to Tzadik and the Tzadik and attach the Tzadik Avdi, it's referring to the righteous servant. Mm -hmm. So he will make he will make the many righteous and he will take their iniquity. He will suffer for their iniquity. Were there any other words? Well, uh, generally speaking, there in verse 12, oh, there is a, a, a repeat. Yes, the verse 12, there is a, a particular word um, which is speaking about the seven given his, his soul to death. He said, That's the word. It's uh, sort of, uh, here it's, uh, in English we know the equivalent is, he gave his soul to death. Yes. Or to death, yeah. And he, Neira, it's again, so it's uh, in Hebrew the modern word, the more common word, it's uh, Eten or Natan. It's to give, Natan. While here it's Eira, uh, it's more like a sentence where you um, sometimes give a blood donation. So it's called Irui Dam. So when you give a blood transfusion, you know, so... That's like a word we use. Um, so you can see the physical context here. So perhaps that's why it's the emphasis of, yes, Natan, which he gave Irui, but he gave something physical. In this sense, he gave, he, he gave his body, he, he, he died on the cross for us. Okay. Well, thank you. I think we've... Uh, yes, I hope. There weren't any other words, but uh, no, thank you so much. Um, thank you, Joel.